Today um, it's the 23rd of May 2019 and I'm going to do a quick video about some replica skulls that we've had sent to us. Um, on the left here that is Lafarassi 1, a Neanderthal skull that was found in France. I'll have to check on the dates of it but I think it was dated back to about 50,000 to 60,000 years ago or something like that and found in the south of France. This is a replica of Lafarassi 1, one of the most complete Neanderthal skulls that have been found. Um, on the right is a Homo heidelbergensis skull that was found in uh, Rhodesia, I think in Africa. And um, here um, you can see that um, the Homo, Homo heidelbergensis has got very pronounced brow ridges on it and you know, the Neanderthals also have quite you know, pronounced brow ridges, but not quite as big as the ones from the Homo, Homo heidelbergensis. The Homo, Homo, Heidelberg, Homo heidelbergensis led to uh, Neanderthals and humans and Denisovans, and um, uh, the Lafarassi 1 Neanderthal skull, um, it's got a very low forehead compared to a human, the human or uh, the Homo sapiens, the Homo sapiens would have a much more uh, rounded forehead and less pronounced brow ridges. Uh, the Lafarassi 1 2, um, the teeth um, were found to be all sort of worn down and they think this is because the Neanderthals used to chew uh, on furs and hides to soften them up so they could make clothes out of them. Next to the Neanderthal skull we have a scraper. Uh, this, is, this is actually a real Neanderthal scraper that came from Germany and the Neanderthals would use this to scrape the fur off of and fat off of hides and furs. This came from a place called Norlingen where there's a crater uh, caused by a meteorite that um, hit Germany yeah, probably a mil millions of years ago and made a crater and in that crater as it was lower it was slightly warmer and Neanderthals actually sort of formed settlements inside the Norlingen crater um, yeah, probably hundreds of thousands of years ago or up to about 40,000 years ago or so. So this is a real um, Neanderthal scraper from the Nordlingen crater region in Germany. Um, over by the Homo heidelbergensis we have a hand axe and this again is a, a, a real one that was found in the north of Kent and uh, this may have been used for cutting um, vegetable, vegetable stems or stems of reeds to get the carbohydrates out and they may have been, scoop, may have been scooping out the car sort of starchy uh, interior of reeds that grew by the estuaries up there in the north of Kent uh, about 400,000 years ago. And back then in, in Kent it was much warmer and there were animals like um, straight tusked um, elephants and lions up there along with the uh, Homo heidelbergensis who were the ancestors of you know the Neanderthals and humans and Denisovan people. Um, so that's just a little video to show these replica skulls and some of the stone tools that we have at the moment. Um, I'm hoping to get a Homo erectus replica skull and also if I can an Australopithecus afarensis. Um, so those are two replica skulls we've had uh, sent to us and we'll see if we can get some more and um, find some more details out about these particular um, skulls as well.